Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing villain, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You're rocking with the best. You heard? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is my 11th episode in the 11th month on my birthday. Holla at the kid. It just seems fitting. 11, 11 for 100 episodes. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have a real good quick episode for you guys. How to destroy that objection. I don't have time. I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. That bullshit ass excuse. I am going to show you how to destroy that obliterate it in two seconds so I was working at Bally Total Fitness right and working at Bally's you're selling or any type of health club membership you're selling what is called an intangible product meaning they cannot see the product or progress or results they can't touch it they can't grab it, taste it, it's it's not there. It's almost like you're just selling pure emotions, right? Almost like selling insurance and shit. So one of the, two of the main concerns that we had from prospects was that they either didn't have the money or they didn't have the time. And right now I'm gonna show you guys how you can destroy that bullshit excuse of I don't have time to do whatever objection it is, right? So what we would do is the customer would say, I'd love to do it. I'd love to join the health club right now, but I just don't have the time to do it. First thing we would say is, okay, let's, let's see what your schedule looks like. John, what do you, how many hours you work a week? 40? Yeah, I work about 40 hours a week. Okay. Now, you're, right, you're writing all of this shit down, by the way. Because the, the customer will try to renege on you. So, all right, you're, you're putting eight hours a day, five days a week. All right, you're putting in 40 hours a week. What, what do you get about, like, six, seven, eight hours of sleep? Yeah, I get about eight hours of sleep. Okay. Eight hours of sleep times seven. That's 56 hours of sleep that you're getting, right? Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. All right. And I'm I'm sure you got to commute back and forth to work. You know, let's just say you it takes you an hour and you're working 7 days a week. Well, let, let's overshoot it. You're working it takes you an hour to get to work and an hour to get back home. So that's another 2 hours a day. That's 14 hours a week. Okay, let's write that down. 14 hours a week. So now you already have the three major things, right? Them going and going to work and putting in work, uh, commuting to work, and then you have, you know, how many hours are they sleeping? The next two or three are just miscellaneous bullshit. So then you'll say stuff like, all right, uh, how many hours a day would you say you spend watching television or just, just, just you know, entertainment wise? Three hours a day? Yeah, I do about three hours a day. That's 21 hours right there. Remember, write all this shit down. All right, so 21 hours in entertainment. And let's just add another 21 hours in miscellaneous bullshit that you may be doing, Mr. or Mrs. Customer. Let's see. So a hundred and there's a hundred and sixty eight hours in a week from all the hours that you told me you work 40 hours. You're probably sleeping about 56 hours, 14 hours in commuting, uh, 21 hours for entertainment and then tw- another 21 hours miscellaneous. That leaves you with 16 hours left in a week. Mr. John, all I'm asking you to do is put three hours a week in working out three hours a week in working out as you can see we have 
more than enough hours for you to do everything that you're looking to do. All I need is three hours out of those 16 hours that you have left. Right there, right. you will never, ever hear that concern come out of that prospect's mouth again. Ever. Because right there, you have backed them in a corner. And you show them that, look, there's only one way out and it's this way. You've been thinking about doing this for a long time. We just eliminated your concern. You, Because in the prospect mind, they probably really thought that they didn't have enough time. Because when we're ripping and running and we're moving and shaking and shit, sometimes it just feels like we don't have enough time. But when you really break down those hours like that for the prospect, they say, one, they look at you as you are now an expert at what you're doing. Two, you just eliminated a, a bullshit concern that they may have been feeding themselves for years. So they could, they'll actually take that process and probably become more productive in other areas in their life and then two you have freed up time for them to do other shit because in reality they're already doing 16 hours of miscellaneous 21 hours of miscellaneous bullshit who knows what that is that could be sitting on the toilet taking a piss you know throwing fucking bean bags in the goddamn wood it doesn't matter it's miscellaneous shit then you add in another 16 hours that you freed up. That's another hour and a half to their day. So that's four and a half hours to just for shits and giggles and lollygagging. You just freed up that many hours. So that is how you obliterate that concern, that objection. You break down their schedule. Tell me how many hours you work. Tell me how many hours you sleep. Tell me, and you almost guarantee 99.8% you can free up some time. Guaranteed. Guaranteed you can free up some time in your prospect's mind. So I hope that helps out. I, as promised, I have a bonus for you on this one. So here's the bonus. Most of us refer or make recommendations for things, right? And I'll give, I'll show you an example. I like the movie, The Warriors. If you guys remember that, that's that old movie. Uh, it's like some gangs and shit. And they're talking about, you know, warriors come out and play. And that type of shit, right? And um, let's just say I wanted to recommend that movie. Man, today is The Warriors 30th anniversary. You guys should go check it out. You guys should go buy that, right? Now... A trick is this, you can always become an Amazon associate, it's free. It's free for you to become an Amazon associate, right? Once you become an Amazon associate, it allows you to grab links or create links for whatever product that you wanna sell. What happens is you get a percentage just off of a recommendation like that. So I'm gonna give you a live example of what I mean. Hey, everybody, today is the 30th anniversary of the Warriors. You guys should check out that movie and buy it. I'm going to leave the link for you to purchase it if you really like that movie like I did. Boom. As you guys see in the comments section, I just dropped a link that will redirect you to Amazon to buy that movie. That movie is going for $7.99. I will get a percentage for anybody that hits that link and buys that movie. Now, I'm just doing this shit for shits and giggles, but there is so much untapped money that you guys are already making recommendations to people. You're telling them, buy this book, watch this movie, um, get this program, buy this software. Most of these companies have affiliate or associate uh, programs where they will pay you for just that simple referral. Look into that because that'll be the easiest fucking money you'll ever make. That'll be the easiest money you'll ever make. So that is the bonus tip. 
Become an Amazon associate. Just Google that shit. Go on YouTube. Figure out how to do it. Then once you get it and they approve you and you link your bank account and shit like that, they pay every single month. So as many people as you get buying shit off of your links, you're going to get an extra check for doing nothing. So peace, love, and happiness to all you guys. Shout out to Danielle, Shauna, Dehe, Ricky, Tiran, Jeffrey, Niaja, Michelle, Marcella, Kim, Kim, Kimmy, Kimmy Mac. Shout out to all you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.